Pretty cool, right? Compass. I got a long way to go. Ni hao, viral cham de pangyo. Woman zai Xinjiapur, Pony Island, out in the wilderness, and we're learning how to build electronics for survival out in nature. Hey, I'm Andy Quitmeyer. I'm on the TV show Hacking the Wild, where I have to use different kinds of technology, um, hack my way out of different kinds of situations. But this actually came from my actual research that I do as a PhD student and now as a professor at NUS here in Singapore. We're going to make little sensors like this guy over here, where we program little tiny cheap computers so that the plants actually can feel us uh, going by. Cool, oh, those look trimmed up great. Nice work. Now I'm gonna give this to you. You're going to hold your iron right on that dot. If you can put the tip of it right in the middle of that hole. Yep, yep, just touch right there. All right, yeah, just hold it down, hold it down. Okay, boom, you did it, okay. And now let it go. You just made your first solder joint. Nice work. We're going to have to do two more steps. You can either connect this to yourself and use it as yourself. You just press the little button on it and it'll turn back on. So now the plant is actually becoming like a little like touch sensor. Now it's like, the whole leaf can just feel me approaching. <laughs> Which is pretty cool, right? So this whole plant is now becoming kind of like an antenna that we can play around with. And so you could use this for like survival situations if, if you're being tracked and there's someone hunting you down or if you're just worried there's a big grizzly bear out there and you want to use the plants around you as natural sensors these are really simple, cheap, and easy to make, and you can turn all the plants around you into basically like proximity sensors. I'm a big bear. Roar! Oh no, I triggered the thing. Yeah, exactly. Solar panels are cool. They're getting more um, efficient all the time, and they are becoming much more widespread and easier to use. This hack is, it's pretty simple. It's gonna teach you how to use not only just the solar panels, but also another life-saving skill of chopping apart regular style electronics. Ah, what a good little log workshop we got going on. Cool, so you have all of your positives hooked up to each other. Nice. All right, so now you have your positives. You're still gonna need one more wire that comes out to go to your USB cable. And so that'll be one more purple wire. You can just kind of hold it on there and really just use it to like hold that in place and then you can feed the solder in there and then yeah it really pools up nicely right then you let go and give it a blow and then yeah you should be good because <laughs> it's raining right now and the clouds are covering up the sun so we might not be getting that much power, but we still should be getting some power if everything's hooked up together. Oh, cool. So we're getting almost about three volts right now. Unfortunately, it's probably not gonna be enough to turn on your phone till the sun comes out and gives us the full five volts of electricity. But you can see how this works. If you take your phone, you turn your flashlight on, and you shine it on one of those solar panels. Yeah then uh, you'll see that number will actually go up a little bit. They were awesome. They were badass wild hackers. I think they got they got the wild hacking spirit. Viral chum de pang yo! Ji the show Khan! Hacking the Wild on Discovery Channel, May 31st. Check it out. Build stuff outside. It's fun.